Behind the badge, we're regular people, so we deal with grief, divorce, kid issues, things like that too, so we need, we need that support as well. We're learning more about the help available to Tulsa police officers who respond to those horrible situations, including murders and child abuse cases. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. Officers say traumatic situations like last week's child sex abuse and homicide case can really take a toll on their mental health. News on 6's Cal Day is live with more on the help available. Cal? Well, Lori Craig, Tulsa police officers who need to talk with someone have free counseling services available to them. The department also uses peer counseling to help its officers. As the mental health coordinator for Tulsa Police, Captain Shelley Seibert has spent the past six years working to develop mental health resources for officers. This includes forming a team of officers to check in on one another. We have about 86 trained peer-to-peer -peer officers, retired officers, dispatchers, and current officers that are on that team. So they reach out to officers that may be struggling, having some issues. Cyber says the group is deployed during traumatic events, playing a big part in officers getting through the murder of Sergeant Craig Johnson and last summer shooting at St. Francis Hospital. They can also help officers with the everyday stress of the job. Cyber says there's been an increase in calls involving children. Officers may have to see firsthand the aftermath of children who have harmed themselves in child abuse cases. They may relate to their own personal trauma as a child they may see see their own children in those those kids and so that is commonly the things that I hear about people struggle with when they want to talk it's about a kid case in addition to the peer counselors Seibert says there's a system in place to track what kind of calls officers are responding to if they have um, too many car collisions, if they have too many uses of force, if they have, if they get assaulted a lot on the job. These are things that we, we look at and we track and we uh, make sure that they have the training and the support they need. And Cyber says that supervisors are currently learning about the warning signs to look, at, look out for in people who may be going through something. In those scenarios, those peer counselors could be asked to reach out. Live in downtown Tulsa, Cal Bay, Oklahoma's own is on six.